here we are at Kepro Canyon State Park. I can't believe it, but there's also already a bison right here to the left. We arrived at the headquarters of Caprock Canyon State Park. So that means don't get any closer than this metal bison over there. Makes sense. So here at the visitor center, I've just been told that there are a little over 250 bison in this park. And that's the visitor center. There's already a big herd of bison right there. And that's exactly where we have to go. Amazing animals, beautiful, really beautiful. There's a big one blocking the road in front of that car in front of me. There's even a lake here at Cat Rock Canyon State Park. I didn't know that. Cool. We are at Cat Rock Canyon State Park. Honey Flat Camping Loop Site 29. It's a pretty nice site, pretty big. You have a big yard here. Very private also. Plenty of space to the neighbors. And uh, you have a fire ring, but for years now I was not able to use a fire ring. There's always a fire ban, as it is right now. Then uh, all this here is our yard space. Then we got this covered patio right here. And now we're going to explore the campground loop. Oh, this is a huge class A RV, my goodness, that one is big. But that tells you how big the sides are. Side 31 fits perfectly. There's even one side here that's available. Straight ahead, that's the prairie dog viewing area. I've seen them everywhere around here. And they're making their little noises. And on the other side over there, that's the canyon itself. And those little fellas, they're noisy. They're everywhere here. Those guys don't get tired of making noise, non-stop. That's a white one. And you can get very close. They're not really afraid, no data. No girl. She has never seen those. She has never heard those. So that's a new experience. So here we're approaching the canyon rim of Caprock Canyon. And that is not even two minutes from my campsite. That's really convenient, very nice. Beautiful views. Unfortunately, very, very windy again. The campground features one bathhouse and also a playground. 
So here's the men's room. Let's check that out real quick. Okay. What do we have here? One, two, three toilets, one urinal. And then over here, three sinks. And one, oh, that is actually nice. You have a bench and then separate shower over there. Two, three showers. Okay, that one is out of order. But what I already noticed is they even provide here uh, towels, even though they have the uh, blow dryers. Okay, I'm gonna check it out in the morning. Yeah, here you can find some information about the prairie dogs. They're called black-tailed prairie dogs. Just across the entrance to the Honey Flat camping area is the RV dump station. Those are, <laughs> those are metal bison, but Delta was not so sure about it. <laughs> This area here is called the amphitheater. Seems to be closed also, but we're gonna take a look. They got all those silhouettes of uh, bison here. Really cool. Oh, and even some skulls and bones. Look at that. So here in 1974, archaeologists actually excavated a 10,000 year old bison butchering camp at Caprock Canyons. Wow. Complete with knives, projectile points and other stone tools. They also found several jaw bones, leg bones of the bison of its time back in the days. Delta doesn't care too much about it. What she cares about is that it's cool here, temperature-wise. Lots of birds. Okay, size-wise, there is no comparison to the amphitheater at Palo Duro Canyon. But nonetheless, beautiful views from here into the canyon. doesn't trust those. <laughs> well, that doesn't mean that when you see the real ones that you can, can uh, that you can get close to those, okay? Delta. I don't know if this is the antenna for it, but we're back at the bathhouse. And uh, I just thought I'd check it out. And yes, there is free Wi-Fi actually here, but I think it's only here at the bathhouse area. From the bathhouse, there's this paved pathway back to the camping loop. Everything looks clean and uh, taken care of. So this is a view of the camping loop coming out of that pathway between site 17 and 18 and now walking past 19 and 20. Plenty of space between sites. There's one thing you need to watch out for. Those uh, pads are quite narrow. So when, and I parked already all the way to the right. So when you come out here where Delta is right now, this is a big uh, drop off. Here where my foot is. Yeah, so be careful when you get out of the trailer. Well, that's convenient. The uh, Canyon Rim Trail just starts here at the campground. <laughs> Delta is like, why you guys make so much noise? <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> 
There are definitely some beautiful views here on that rim trail. We are a little bit off trail right now, but you can see that people went this way quite often to get this view. And now we're back on the rim trail. So we made it back from our short excursion to the rim. The rim trail is quite nice. Very long though. I think it's like seven miles or so. And uh, yeah, we did only one. It's enough, we hiked a lot today. So yeah, that's the campsite. My patio table here, but it's so windy right now, it's crazy. It's not funny anymore. Well, today is a completely different day. Four o'clock in the morning, that's when the thunderstorms started. We had several till about six. Everything from heavy rain to light rain. Right now it's a drizzle, foggy, uh, way, way cooler temperatures. Well, wow, let's see what the day brings. Even though we've been here yesterday, Delta still doesn't trust those metal bisons here. It's a rainy day today. Uh, this morning, we're not going on a long walk. It's raining too much. We're already wet as it is, so I think we waited out. There was a sign saying earlier, no trailer over 15 feet in length, steep grade ahead. So that's where we're going down now, into the canyon. We are at the Eagle Point Trail parking lot and uh, we're trying to find a natural bridge that is in this area. After a short hike, we arrived at the Eagle Point Trailhead. So here it basically says that the natural bridge isn't too far from here. It's where we are, it's where we're gonna go, maybe a little bit further. Yeah, Delta of course discovered it already, but this is the, the natural bridge right here. Delta is resting in the shade of the natural bridge. Which continues all the way down there.
Now here we are on a little trail on the opposite side of the natural bridge. Wonder if we can get a better view of it. Yeah, there it is. And now the sky is blue again. Beautiful day. Hopefully there won't be any rain in the middle of the night. That was pretty intense last night. Lightning and I believe there was even some hail. Here you can see all the way in the distance where the trail goes up out of the valley again. And uh, there's a dry riverbed down there too. So basically uh, here on that spot you go down to the canyon floor. Yeah, this canyon was home for people for at least 10,000 years. There's even a little bit of water in some puddles down there, but not much. Delta likes the shade. Hi, right, girl. Come on, babe, let's go. Here we're approaching a scenic overlook. That's basically where we just hiked around that peak there. I just looked it up. This is Lake Theo. And there's a boat ramp right here, but the water level is extremely low. I assume that that's where the water was. They have a lot of picnic areas around here. They're all covered with picnic tables. So this right here is the Folsom historical site and that is the Folsom Bison Kilt site. It was discovered in 65 and in 1972 on the shores here of Lake Theo. Our last evening walk here before we're leaving to Lawton, Oklahoma tomorrow. Just found a bison down in the canyon. Wow, awesome. Good. Ah, oh, good catch. That was good, Delta. Good. It's a beautiful campsite, I really love it. It's so quiet here. It's awesome. Just played ball with Delta here because it's so much space, it's larger than my backyard. Yeah, it's that time again. We're leaving Caprock Canyon State Park. Beautiful park, we enjoyed it. Wish we could have stayed a little longer. But now we got a long drive ahead of us towards Lawton, Oklahoma. That's the next stop. And right now that we're leaving, we're getting this awesome picture of the bison at their watering hole, which is the Lake Thau. Awesome. 